All right, here we go. Here we go with today's multiplayer round. We go right into this new lobby. It's one of the biggest changes to multiplayer. I kind of like this, this initial part where it shows the icon. Each player has a box. It shows kind of what, what uh, level they've achieved so far this season. Um, what I don't like is once you find a game, you'll see the, the huge blurry pictures that drop down for each of the courses. I just feel like they really missed an opportunity here to... Uh, make a huge improvement. I think one of the biggest challenges that myself and most players probably have, especially to take advantage of the multiple discs, and there you see the huge blurry pictures. We got Enzo, Lost Island, Ikigai Springs. So Ikigai Springs 8 and Enzo. So I'm gonna go with the starter bag. So I have the Water Skip Gold as well as the Enigma for Enzo. But like I said, I wish they would just have Instead of those huge blurry pictures, they'd have a small picture next to each whole number. Um, that would be awesome, as it's so challenging to just quickly scan those whole numbers and like have them memorized enough to really be able to assess the layout and know what bag you want to choose. So if they were to just put a little picture next to each whole number, that would make it easier on everybody to really see what holes are coming up and select a bag appropriately. We're going to go with the Glide Sapphire here on a forehand. Make sure I put enough hyzer because of this wind. This is off to the right, but hopefully this log down here stops it. Looks like music went off to the left, so we're covering both sides of this. But I got a putt. Should be able to make that. And he's probably got a good shot over there. He knocks his down, so we're both one under after one. Still, though, the update's been awesome. So many cool changes, additions to the game. So if you haven't updated yet... Definitely do so. I'm hoping if the whole spit out update is noticeable. I haven't played a ton yet to really know, but uh, excited about the potential for not having as much ridiculous spit outs. I mean, I understand if it's kind of fast and high, it makes sense for it to occasionally spit out, but not near as much as it, it happens now. And it can be so brutal when it comes to the timing of a spit out. All right, glide skip arrive. I'm gonna aim in this little opening of the fence. With this wind, I'm gonna put a little bit of hyzer on it just to make sure we don't get too far off to the right. I think that's one of the common misses on this hole is to miss into these trees on the right and then you're kind of stuck being it, trying to scramble out of there and it's hard to get birdie from there. So I'm still gonna throw glide skip. I probably don't need to, um, but just to get up there by the basket, make this birdie easier. It's really hard to go long on this hole unless you're way up there. Don't really like where I ended up. Let's do a little rotate the world here. Make sure I don't hit that little whatever Eiffel Tower looking thing. So we're both two under after two. Next one is going to be Ikigai Springs hole number eight. And I've basically transitioned to throwing water skip on this hole every time. Probably could get away with the Vandal on this win, but I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to go with my normal line. And just take some speed off of it. Don't want to throw it very hard because of this big tailwind. This is looking pretty good. As long as it doesn't go too far. Which it might. Sit down. Alright, so it stopped just short, so that'll work. Looks like he looks like he's dry, so you just have a long look at Eagle. So hopefully we can pick up a stroke here. 71 feet. A little high there. See, that might have spit out before, but it hung on. So it's a good sign. We're able to pick up a stroke there on him. So we're four under after three. Moving into Enzo. Let's see how we do. You never know with Enzo. Sometimes you love it. Sometimes you hate it. Tough wind here. I'm actually going to go with the Enigma on a forehand. And just try for this gap. Aim kind of a little higher so it has time to kind of fade out. Don't want to miss it. Oh man, come on. Still didn't want to fade on me. There it goes. Got lucky it got such a high skip, but I basically got no distance on that shot. That's a tough win to get this one. Not even sure I'm going to go for it really. I think I'm going to go forehand just nice and high. Not really a bid. That was more of a, just a safe play. We get the tap in. 
Still kind of waiting back on the whole challenge. Sorry, I was hoping to get it going already, but I'm trying to trying to see if we could potentially offer some sort of rewards for it, but just playing the waiting game a little bit. If I don't hear back, then I'll just think of something on my own to do, but stay tuned. Still wanting to do it. Haven't forgot about it. All right, with this one, I've just been trying to go right at the pin with the, the water skip gold. This is a tough wind, but as long as we can get the disc right at the basket, then you usually have a decent shot at the eagle sometimes. Oh, dang it. That was not good. Looks like he's going to get the eagle. So we're going to drop a stroke here, but hopefully we can save birdie. Just should not have hit the right side there. That was, wasn't trying to do that. 97 feet, left to right headwind. Drop, okay, saved our birdie. So now we're gonna be tied after five, both six under. Ah, see if we could take advantage of this last Enzo hole. Um, I need to work on a line here with the Enigma because I know it's probably the disc to go with. Hopefully this has enough fade at the end. Don't hit the bridge. Nice. No. Ah, was on a good line. Still have a chance here, but so does he. 101 uphill. I'm going to add about 30 feet to this. Get up there, nice, dead center. Ooh, see, that might have spit out too. So, so far, I mean, that's two shots that you might see a spit out before. And maybe I'm just being a little over optimistic, but hey, so far, I mean, I haven't had any bad spit outs, so it seems to be working so far. But this, this is a tough wind here. I'm gonna go with the water skip gold. Put a little bit of hyzer because of this headwind and this looks really good right through the gap and it should get some slide at the end that's the reason i didn't throw the the roll rive so i can get a little extra slide at the end and have a nice easy birdie so hopefully we can finish this round strong and come away with the win got a one shot lead and par four and a par three to end things i don't remember which holes they are but we'll find out soon enough. Par 4 coming up, so there's always a chance to get an eagle on par 4s on Lost Island. This one's one of the easier ones to eagle, but still definitely no gimme. I'm going to put some ante on this because of that big left to right tailwind. It's going to make this much more stable. This is looking pretty good. Not going to stay to the left of the hill, but it gets down here to where we're going to have a look at the basket. 199. And that's a perfect distance for the accurate sticky harp. Bottom chevron. Oh, did he make it? Looked like he made it. Bottom chevron right on top of the basket. We're going to make this. Looks good. Get in there. Nice. It's just the perfect distance for that harp. If you can get the turn just right, then that 200 foot distance is perfect if you bag that disc. All right, last hole, we got a two-shot lead. Not going to do anything cute here. Just going to go with my safe play, the roll sapphire. On a backhand, top chevron. Right where it drops off here, I like to go just above that. With this wind, I'm going to pull straight down. It's probably going to miss a little to the left of the basket and long, but it'll be within the, within the circle of the, the bones here, and we're going to get the victory. Hopefully we don't do anything silly and get a par, but it doesn't really matter either way. 94 feet. We get it. Dead center. Nice round to finish off and get the win. Feels like I haven't had a lot of wins lately. It's been a rough couple days, but maybe this update will be just a little kick in the butt that I need to get things back on track before the end of the season. Oh, I meant to look at his bag. Darn it. 
All right, well, there's today's multiplayer round. The other thing we already mentioned in the previous video, that countdown clock is pretty awesome. You got the season ending in just less than nine days. So plenty of time to make another run. But there you go, guys. There's today's multiplayer round of the day. And as always, thanks for watching me play some DGV.